Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jail with the shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, it's Monsters Park Monday, my favorite day of the week. Uh, if you are new to Monsters Park Mondays, um, I've been a Modern Times member for the for the last three years. Um, and I have a lot of Monsters Park beers that I've never drank over the years. So we decided at the beginning of 2019 that Mondays were going to be to clear out our cellar and drink Monsters Park. So I just randomly grab beers out of the fridge on Mondays and we drink them and we talk about them and it's fun, fun time. So uh, today we are checking out, I think this is like a 2016 bottle. So it's going on three years old. Uh, this is Monsters Park Imperial Stout aged in Caribbean or Caribbean, depending how you say it, rum barrels with vanilla beans added. This is a 13% alcohol by volume. Uh, Imperial Stout says 50 SRM, 60 IBUs. Ooh, this is a higher on the IBU side, I think, than most. I feel like the other, I'd have to, I don't remember. Uh, and 1.022 is the final gravity. So, um, Monsters Park, Asian fragrant, fruity, uh, Caribbean rum barrels with vanilla beans. Um, this is, again, one of those beers that, like I said, it's three, ooh, big hiss on that bottle. Uh, three years old. Um, so the vanilla I'm sure has faded, but I love me some, I can smell that. Uh, I love me some, uh, rum barrel aged beer. So I'm looking forward to this one. So let's get into this one. Shall we? This one actually pours on the darker side. I pour these beers right into this bright, bright light. This one's pretty, pretty dark as she was being poured. Wow. That smells like booze. That's so crazy. Uh, it is pitch black in the glass. It's quarter finger of that kind of brown mocha khaki head. Looks awesome in that proper glassware. Beer always tastes better in proper glassware. <clears throat> if you've never tried it, you should. 13% when we throw that, there's alcohol leaks. Looks awesome in that proper glassware. So, like I said, when I opened that, it was like Boo City. That's happened before, but then when I shove my fat nose in it, it doesn't smell as bad. Like, it's um, boozy, but let's see what this one's got. This is dark fruits for days. There's so much like, it almost has, hopefully this beer isn't uh, infected, but it says fruity rum barrels on the label. It's like, it, it almost reminds me of like when I had the modem tones that uh, had raspberries in it. It almost has like that kind of a berry note. It, it's crazy. Like there's not a stout, um, like aroma to this. It's not roasty. It's not chocolatey. It's just crazy, crazy fruit. It almost smells jammy, <laughs> which is odd for a stout, but maybe that's, I don't know. Maybe that's the rum barrel that they use. I mean, it says fruity on the label. It's fucking fruity. I mean, there's literally like nothing else that I'm smelling. It's overwhelmingly like seedy, like seedy raspberries. It's crazy. I don't know. I mean, is, does that mean this could be infected? Who knows? There's really not much else to say about the nose, so let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. Hmm. I mean, this beer has been in the bottle for three years. It's crazy because it smelled really, really boozy, but you're not getting any alcohol heat. There's a little bit of like a, like a roasty note. It's pretty faint, but there's a little bitterness that kind of sits on your tongue. Um, it almost like, I don't know, it almost tastes not hoppy, but it almost, it leaves like that kind of bitterness. Um, but it's really, really fruity. I don't, I mean, I don't know what this beer was supposed to taste like. I should have drank it fresh. It's pretty thin. It's actually really thin. Um, and other than like that little bit of like kind of hoppy bitterness and like the fruity kind of raspberry thing that you smelled, you get that on the finish. There's really not much to this beer. Um, this could just be one of those things where this beer is like way past its prime being three years in the bottle. Um, there's no vanilla. I don't really get any barrel character from this beer. Um, I mean, this one's pretty forgettable, to be honest with you. Not my favorite. There's just not much to it. Um, like I said, I don't, I'll have to look at the check-ins. There's been reports of like different Monsters Park beers from way back when, when they first started doing this, being infected. I don't know if this bottle's infected. It doesn't have like, it's got a little bit of like an oxidation thing. It 
but it just doesn't taste like much. So uh, we talk about that. When you age beers, you win some and you lose some. Um, this didn't age great. It, there's not much to it. It's not exciting. Like I said, it's a forgettable beer. I mean, there's really not much to talk about because I'm not tasting a whole lot. Um, it's a really thin stout that has like a fruity characteristic to it. But there's like, I love the chocolatey part of Monsters Park. There's no chocolate. Um, there's typically like a roasted, you know, note into these stouts. That's not there. It's got like this little bitter thing with like a fruity characteristic to it. So um, not my favorite. There's no vanilla anywhere to be found. So but like I said, you win some, you lose some when you, when you age beers like this and it's my own fault it's the way it goes so um i mean <laughs> there's no sense in rating this beer it's just not it's not great <laughs> it's not great bob i mean i don't even know numerically what i would give this like a 70 as painful as that is i mean it's this isn't like a drain pour by any means but um i mean it's just not anything exciting i mean 70 is probably being kind i don't know it's just there's not a whole lot to it it doesn't taste like a monster spark beer so you win some, you lose some. So yeah, uh, that's the Caribbean rum barrel aged version of Monsters Park with vanilla beans added. Um, I'm wondering if any of you guys were members of Modern Times and you have bottles of this, crack one. See if yours is good. Mine's not great. So uh, what a disappointing Monsters Park Monday. But it happens. I still love me some Modern Times. So uh, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.